Hey hello everyone and welcome back to another Road to Lighthouse episode. It's your boy Con4 with Falcon's Nest Gaming. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. We are going to get going to Lighthouse. It is time to turn in the quest provocation and uh, and go ahead and get our time gate started. Um, so yeah, so we're going to head over to Lighthouse, uh, go over to Lightkeeper, talk to him. See what this Joker has to say. Uh, hopefully, Zarachi will be kind. He's been really nice lately. I mean, our relationship is blossoming. I feel like because um, he hasn't domed me in about a week. So, you know, I mean, that's a long time for him. For someone like him to not kill someone, I feel like he has to exercise restraint. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> anyway, hope everyone's having a good day today. If at any point you find yourself enjoying the content, I would appreciate a like. Certainly a subscribe if you uh, want to be notified when we do upload. Currently, it's at least two a day. Um, just hit the notifications icon. Uh, this is the entire quest line with Lightkeeper, start to finish, um, is what we are chronicling here with this series. So we are well over 60 episodes at this point, and I never imagined it. I guess I didn't really think about how long it was going to take. It just, when the recommendation was given to me um, <laughs> by, you know, that I should do the Lightkeeper, it just, it became immediately clear that I needed to do it. And then it became even clearer that, you know, I wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to preserve it. You know, I, so many times I think with gaming in general um, there's so many experiences that people have that like I think with streaming and and YouTube now it's just it's wonderful that you can actually capture some of that and go back and relive those moments or share them with people or have people see like when you have that 37 kill rate or that you know whatever crazy thing that happens um, really neat to be able to share that now we have not been on Lighthouse much since the update, so I suppose we should probably be careful around here because I don't know where these PMCs are going right now these days. I had a pretty firm grip on Lighthouse there, uh, pre-patch obviously because we were on this map 24-7 uh, doing various different tasks and things, but if uh, none of the spawn points have changed, I'm fairly confident we'll know where we need to watch from but I've seen people talking about new spawn points too so we'll see that spawn point we just spawned in at um, I'm not going to say is new but it certainly felt somewhat unfamiliar I don't remember spawning on that side of the road and running across before I remember spawning over on the other the side closest to the mountain range to the mountain range that we're closest to now, not the one that's across the street. Anyway, I could just be overthinking it. Certainly a possibility. And in a lot of ways, usually a probability when dealing with me. I tend to overthink everything. My brain likes to come up with 5,000 answers at once. And then compare and contrast all of the potential outcomes all at the same time. I'm sure quite a few of you out there can relate. So let's see. So far so good. Awful quiet out in the lighthouse today. I actually uh, kind of prefer we keep it that way, honestly. I'm good with that. <laughs> nice, relaxing, quiet raid after the uh, craziness we've had on Interchange. Interchange is a lot of fun, though. It just... It is. It's one of those maps, like, it's journey <laughs> start to finish. Like, it is just an adventure. Um, especially now with the scav density. It's just insane. They're literally everywhere you look. And uh, the PMCs, too. They're all over the place. So, Anyway, good time to be playing Tarkov. Great time to be jumping into Tarkov, if you're curious. Or if you have the ability to, I certainly would highly recommend it. Um, but, I mean, as anyone could tell you, I'm biased. I obviously love the game, so. 
take that into consideration. Oop, I cannot jump. I do not have stam. But I do want to search this bag over here. Because you never know. Might be something good in it. And yes, we have the rigs. Yes. Yes, the rigs are with us. Um, now, doesn't mean we're going to be looting up over here on Lighthouse. But they are here. Because we're definitely, at minimum, going to be checking a uh, marked room for sure. Because we have the key, and we're here. And after we turn in this quest, we're time-gated, so there's really no pressure to hurry to anything. Unless we're running away from Zirachi's bullet. So tempted to ADS on those rocks and see where everyone's at, but I feel like they would take that as an aggressive action. And I just don't want that kind of drama in my life. You know what I mean? Alright, listen bro, we're good. We went back to uh, to the desktop and we relaunched the way that uh, you're making us do. Okay? Please don't shoot me, Namur. Alright? Okay. I'm going to keep moving forward now. I don't even see any of you guys. So that's a little weird. Hopefully they're not interacting differently. Oh, okay, there's one. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they don't give you the choices, quote unquote. Maybe friendly. My foot. Every PMC has tried to light me up that I've seen. Or maybe I've tried to light them up so they fought back. I don't know. But they definitely seem aggressive to me. So if anyone was concerned that our PMCs were not going to be aggressive. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Wow. That just so many reasons to search that. You know. And to grab these two in particular right now are huge. So we're going to do that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry guys, can't help myself. I got must grab stuff. Uh does it seem like there's more free loot? Did they buff free loot? Did they buff loot in general? Was this part of the key card nerf? Is this has there been a buff to loot to offset this? You know, it might not be bad to, to just do some looting and, and see how things feel. On this island more than off more often than not, the uh, file cabinets are empty. So, we start seeing nice full file cabinets or um, double drops, things like that. And could be an indication. And all the stuff we found in this room that uh, feels thicker than normal, honestly, already. Hey, would you open? Peace. Alright. Uh, we'll hit marked room and then we'll go talk to the man. I'm uh, in a looty mood. Looty mood. Yeah, well, because we've spent, like, so much on our hideout um, mannequins. Speaking of which, when we get out of raid, we are going to go to the hideout and uh, check. Because we did our level 2 upgrade earlier, I believe. And I want to check and see if we can go ahead and start the level 3. Now, I'm almost scared to see how much we're going to have to spend for it, but if you saw the video that I uploaded when the patch hit, um, you'll know that at this time, prices are absolutely redonkulous on some of the hideout items uh, required for the mannequin and the uh, circle upgrades because people are just wanting to get them done, and at this point, everyone has access to so many millions, it's like... Um, they're just willing to pay whatever they, they, they can pay or need to pay to get them. So, um, tons and tons and tons of money you can make if you wanted to farm those items right now. Anyway, um, that's all done. Um, I feel like that's more than I usually get out of here, honestly. It might be worth checking dorms. Um, I don't know if it's worth buying another key, though, to check it. That's, that's the thing. Right, because if the keys are over 10 mil and then we get one and it doesn't produce don't feel like I'm going to be a happy camper you know 
I would rather not invite that disappointment in my life, but I feel like we need some science. Because, from what I'm seeing, I'm wondering if a little bit of a loop buff didn't come with the patch. It feels to me like it may have, honestly. And I don't want to just be saying stuff like that, but I don't know. Either I'm more looty, or there seems to be more stuff. One of the two. That's all I'm saying. One of the two. Alright. Let's go, Kavas. Yes, please. Would have been nice to have that in the last raid. Okay, so I guess I should make sure this task is still... Sh yeah, completed. Okay, perfect. So we actually now can craft fleers as a re as a reward for this. I don't know what the uh, what the recipe is, but now we can actually craft a fleer, and we'll get a couple vertexes, which you know we usually always go for good money um, as a reward as well. So pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, Mister Lightkeeper, sir. Hello there, um, sir. My time to visit is limited. A familiar face. Greetings. Uh, greetings. Job's done. And, yeah, job's done. Is there like an audio line plan that I can't hear right now? Because, um, y'all, I can't click anything. Oh, that's not good. Let's go to Windows and see if we can, okay. Can we? Oh, wow, guys. Um, we may be stuck here. Are you kidding me? Like, what is going on? Oh, no. Buggy. So buggy. Oh man. Our time here is limited. Like. I think we have to Alt F4 and try to reconnect. Um. Maybe there's voice lines that are supposed to be here that aren't here yet. I don't know what to think about this. Except to say that I can't access my inventory. I can't do anything. I'm literally locked out. So. Wow. What a disappointment. Honestly. What a disappointment. Alright, well, I suppose Alt F4 it is, um, I hate that, but it is what it is, maybe we can reconnect and, and get past that, that bug, that is absolutely unacceptable, man, like, I, I, I just don't even know what to say about that, so I'm just not going to, I'm not going to say a word at all, I'm just not. So let's uh hopefully we get the reconnect dialog and I don't know how that works at Lighthouse. I may log back in, we may be dead. Um I do know that if you don't leave Lightkeeper after nine minutes um, I think they just kill you, honestly. Um, or maybe that's only if Sirachi dies. I don't know. Look, yeah. Okay, well. Alright, Alt F4 worked. But the uh, the quest is still not completed. So, we go back to Lighthouse again. Um, and I guess we try again, guys. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do here. That's That's disappointing. 
BSG. Have a look. This could be a, a potential problem. I should have depoted. Oh, oh well. But it, at this point, I'm operating under frustration. So um, we'll just get back in the raid and see um, if we can turn this quest in. And then we'll take it from there. <laughs> oh, I'm trying so hard to not rant about this. I'm just not going to. We're going to get into raid. It's going to spawn us right next to lighthouse, right? It's not going to spawn us on the complete other side of the map. I you know, I just know they're not going to do that to us. You know, they wouldn't just bug us out like that and then make us rerun the whole map again. I mean, that would just be that would be kind of ridiculous, you know, to put some 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 players through that. But then again, you never know, right? I mean, you never know. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Are we at least over the chalet? Oh, okay. Oh no, this is good. Okay, good, good, good. Not where I thought. Perfect. For once, I'm happy to be wrong. Well, not for once. I've been happy to be wrong several times, but... It's not usually my typical condition. We can turn the light off here. Rainy day on Lighthouse. Uh, lighthouse round two, guys. Um, sorry, I have no idea what to make of that. But um, I have had a few menu bugs like that since the patch. So I think we can add UI bugs to the list of things that are potentially going to be getting in the way of people having a good experience. I'm going to check these cars for food as well because um, I didn't look and I know we weren't in raid very long but I also don't know if I capped off beforehand and we were starving pretty bad early. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Don't worry about there. Well, that happened. Did it save the fact that I put that? No, it didn't even save that. Okay. So... Alt F4 just doesn't give you anything. I thought it would give me an option to reconnect. So th that's what people are talking about when they're talking about, oh, just Alt F4 out. It, that, to me, well, it's two different ways I feel about this. I don't think Alt F4 resetting all of your progress is a good thing uh, long term for the health of the game. That needs to go away. But, in the event that you have game-breaking bugs like what we just had, I think we can all see the usefulness there. So, um, I imagine maybe that might be part of the reason they're leaving it in. I don't know. Or maybe they just don't know how to address that with the offline raids not being on their servers. Um, but either way, yeah, it's disappointing. Oh, don't ADS on them. What are you thinking, dummy? Pull out your peaceful little beacon. Do not give them a reason to misbehave. And blame it on you. I'm seeing a lot more loose loot, um, so I'd, I do hope that that's actually a thing, that, you know, they did add more loose loot, and that could be, if there was performance changes, that could be part of it. Yeah, guys, look, how many times have we searched this room? You know, we never see this many things laying around. Sorry, let me get rid of this. Um, let's just go straight to Lightkeeper. I know... Anxious to see if he'll take take the quest, 
turn in or if uh, we'll glitch again. If we glitch again, that is not a good sign. In the absence of a, a patch note, we might be halted. I hope that's not the case. But uh, not uncommon after a new wipe and a new patch to have issues that uh, are game breaking happen, go on for a while early wipe and then get patched or some of them persist unfortunately uh, but I think this uh, menu bug is an intermittent one that uh, honestly has been around for a long time it's it's happened to me before this patch but I've just it's been happening more since the patch so we'll see hopefully we uh, we won't run into it again jobs done Wow. That is rich. Right there. That is rich. Once you click jobs done, it freezes you. Can do literally nothing. So that is unfortunate. Um honestly I uh I don't know what to even say to that that's just I think maybe I give it a few days like I said I've got uh, a lot of these episodes banked I think I'm going to give it a few days I think I'm going to stop this episode here I know it's a short one and I'm sorry for that guys um, but if you've watched the episode you can kind of see the why behind it um, I think we stop here and then give it a, a day or two to, to let the freshness of wipe pass and then I'll check back and see. It won't feel like a day or two to anyone watching this. The, the, the very next video will be coming up right next for you so don't take that to mean that you will have to wait any longer. It's just so that you understand why I'm stopping this video at, at 22 minutes in simply because at this point... Um, I can't progress, I can't click anything, I can't pull up my inventory, um, there's literally nothing that I can do that um, that seems to uh, want to bring these uh, controls back, so I'm hitting escape, everything, like tilled, maybe tilled, no, I, uh, I don't know what to make of it guys, um, but be that as it may, I'm sure it's uh, more than probably just a temporary thing. I think there's only two quests left. You know, we're 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 very close to there, so I'm gonna stick with it, and we'll tough it out. And uh, we're just gonna wait until this resolves itself, and we'll pick it up from there. Either way, thank you so so much for being here. It's Con Four with Faustness Gaming. I'll talk to y'all on the next one. Peace.